What's up guys, AK with DCC Train. I am trying my best to do live streams. Welcome to this one, top camera. Couple of things, uh, announcements. So you see in um, chat window, we have some uh, viewers, Matt, hello. There is link to DCC Train Live channel. Somehow YouTube pick it up and start promoting. I don't know what's going on <laughs> with YouTube. So anyway, uh, longer, as I said before, longer broadcasts will be on that channel, like our installation, stuff like this. Then I'm going to edit it and it will be available for members. So you can join membership just there is like a button under any video i believe on the channel so today's um, really cool i i really like the that's flashman it's a ice usually um beautiful highly detailed this is newer version of that electric train so I'll show you different probably like three ways to figure out how to install that decoder and we'll do just simple thing uh, only one for me it's require requirement I'm not using any electrical tape or any other tape I'm using Copton tape so that's my Copton tape I already cut it on purpose we're going to use it to insulate common wire so captain tape i'm using <coughs> excuse me only this type so you need a, any type of marker and toothpicks so since it's plug and play <laughs> sometimes it can get uh, a little bit crazy of course and every every time something happening with, with me and my installations and also it's not necessary but um, you need a tester any digital tester uh, which is can digital or just a regular analog with um, sound um, available signal okay so let's get started this is ASU version 4, which is, I don't mind to use the older decoders, absolutely no problem. Um, the sound decoder is different, but regular decoders, I don't think so. I am going to see even difference with, with the new one. So maybe some extra features, but for especially end scale stuff. So this is end of the train. The other car has a special mechanism, mechanical to swap and I'll demonstrate later in the, in the test video to change the direction okay again it's do, it's doing mechanically uh, there is no decoder or anything no con connection to the other car cars all right so this is the same thing here so pretty much dummy car and that's the motorized car okay motor inside it's ready for dcc that's what i'm saying <laughs> but it can be it can be a really nightmare uh, the first method you need a um, hundred percent no the um, output of the decoder input and output okay we'll talk about it very soon so when i'm opening it you need um, then we'll probably discuss about it yeah that's a good idea i'm using toothpick uh, my fingernails is um, my fingernails just not good enough you know and, and my hands a, a lot of uh, martial arts stuff <laughs> street fights so uh, usually I don't have fingernails very carefully you just uh, pick the toothpick you maybe need modify it a little bit to make it um, 
kind of thin. So you're doing like this, then here, I think the diagram showing like fingernails. So maybe I use the different, um, I just working on a couple of different locomotives. So same thing here, it's unlock locks right there. And uh, here we go. It's supposed to be just like pretty much like fly out of here. You don't need to, to remove anything else, but here we go. Just push. Oh, sometimes, yeah, you need to be careful. Catch it. <laughs> so here I go. And immediately, because I already open it, um, I mark the, um, it's supposed to be identical, but I mark uh, one side with the, the other side here. Okay, so they matching. Should be again identical, but I'm not taking a chance. Now let's talk about how to properly install the coder. You can do the first attempt. You know the diagram of this decoder downloaded in the manual. Usually they're not putting manuals anymore because it's a lot of papers. So download the manual, figure out which motor output because the pickups in the middle that's fine to know it means that that that's good to know too but um, the motor output in this decoder on on that left side okay so the f f the first method you yes you you got the diagram and you have diagram of the locomotive so you know exactly you just plug it in and get it done all right Second method is you can plug in, not touching, any, not checking anything. And if it's upside down, nothing's happening because on the right side, right side, two of those outputs for lights. Okay. So you try to read the decoder. It gives you like zero means error uh, or um, zero code in lens I think it's zero zero two or something so the decoder you cannot read the decoder I'll I'll read the questions guys a little bit later definitely answer so that's it so you plug it in putting on the programming track nothing take it out upside upside down plug it in it should work and it, everything's correct so I already bent it a little bit because on purpose, because if it's not, and I took the insulation shrink tube, uh, shrink wrap, whatever, there is no electrical, oops, oops, electrical paths under it, but it's kind of sticking out and it's pushing the board up and those contacts to the motors. I don't want to the motor. Okay. Now, the third method I'm going to use, I'll show you right now. So it's going under, it may be a little bit tough, but it's okay. So also you can use, because I see them, I'm using like that tiny um, tweezers with a shrink tube on top on those guys all right so it's give a little bit of cushion better grabbing and also it's not gonna mess with the elements in the decoder it, it should be okay so to find out you need a tester to find out the motor output or you can track it but still to be a hundred percent so my tester is set up for sound indication and this is one motor lead and as soon as I touch this or this, I'm confusing myself. I'm sorry. Yes, so then the motor output in this decoder, I'll, I'll take it back. The motor output in this decoder on this side, okay. 
<laughs> sorry about that so one motor here one motor output here right again upside down and nothing's happened uh, if, if it's not plugged in properly now this is the common that's the story for another day okay common for functions for example means for for the lights if it's going to plug and play and um, yeah let's just not focusing on this right now let's um, I don't need that long because it might just not not necessary but if for some reason it can be used in a different model so I'm just cutting it and if you have shrink tubing you can put shrink tubing if you don't have it it's no problem to put cupped on tape not just electrical ta tape mostly of them like cheap just cupped on tape small piece of cupped on tape i'm using uh, scissors like this very nice for years and it's and it's still great i'm just cutting only that type of polymers and yeah then i will grab another tweezers here and just to wrap the end so if you're not seeing uh try my best this is it it can go to the space <laughs> nothing's happening so i see a lot of captain space using like in uh, space shuttles i think means in, in yeah a lot so now motor output and it's bent it up so it's going a little bit hooking up like that try my best i can get it yep i got it and also that element here let me get maybe you can see like small element here touching that uh, piece of plastic so i remove a little bit of plastic here so make sure that thing going like straight and you need you need type of that bamboo stick uh like a chapstick that's a hundred percent all right so now i can move this thing under not gonna on the way let's see the light uh, it's not lighted car so it's kind of yeah it's kind of covered with some yeah because of that wall and you might see um, that wire a little bit maybe just I'm going the other way Let me grab this Yeah, that's definitely better idea. Come on. Of course, every time you're doing on camera, <laughs> it's mess you up. All right, great. Okay, so it's perfectly fine. There we go. See? All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Matt saying, yeah, it's uh, flying out of, uh, of the shelf. Yes, because it's kind of pushing it here, and as soon as it's released, it just pops out. <laughs> <laughs> fun all right 
that's it guys um, mean, meaning you need to test it of course and I have lens system because it's very low uh, voltage and I, I and I like it I, I like pretty much every system which with a low voltage um, testing output input output let's say let's proper say it okay so my cut to track and I have small flashman from the starter set uh, loop of it I'm using lens set 100 which is for years f8 program direct address enter zero three okay if it's nothing on the track you're pressing address and it will it, yes like error z code zero two which is nothing on the track who just got lens that's the the message okay so one more time enter see it's moving if you see like small a tiny movement here we go and we I have a double throw double switch uh, double pole double throw switch from programming track to main track and now I can test it it's great a locomotive brand new maybe run like a few times on DC out of the box decoder so you can adjust the acceleration deceleration no problem okay let's put it back together and we're done so that's that's what I'm always um, it's like it's make me smile you know some sometimes like plug and play installation well this one is good one but if you first time don't know all those tricks you know YouTube videos maybe will help I, I hope so again marking here mark mark my mark here okay carefully carefully make sure it's all good you matching those points here it's going slowly both the same time see how it locks perfect oh it's locked my <laughs> finger cover yeah nice nice model just make sure everything's cool it's not gonna take a lot of time I'll test it again because you never know if eight program direct address reading three okay testing again beautiful I'm near to AC room in the basement so means utility room here we go perfect I uh, love it so next video I'm going to test it on a small loop from starter set guys thanks again for watching um, and supporting business and channel there is a join button under every single video for membership and I'm inviting you to DCC train live channel for longer installations uh, the link won't be down in the comment line Thanks again. We really appreciate it and have a good one. Bye-bye.